Daily Sean, coming at you. Can nurses have tattoos? Well, obviously they can have them, but is it acceptable in the workplace? Nurses, any healthcare professional, what, what do we think about nurses who have visible tattoos? How about we go with the word visible? Visible tattoos. I actually did a video on this topic several years ago. Um, it came to light the other day with uh, one of my Instagram posts. Got a message on Instagram about it. And someone was asking about going from the RN role to the advanced practice role. They're interested in me coming an NP and they're worried because they have visible tattoos and they have an interest in getting a tattoo sleeve, kind of like me. They wanted to know if I've ever had any negative experiences, any resistance, any problems. So I wanted to address the elephant in the room. If you look back, I'm going to leave a link in the, in the description here. You can look at the link to the original video I did, uh, which is at the time of this recording was three years prior. So three years ago, when I talked about tattoos, I had admitted that I was a nurse that had tattoos, but that I chose not to have any that were visible. And that's kind of changed. I now have tattoos everywhere, as you can see. Some are actually in progress. Um, there's, I don't have an explanation for why it changed. It's just my interest changed. But the, the, the point isn't about the person and their interest, the nurse and their interest. It's about the workplace. There was an article that came out last year or so, about a year ago since the, this recording. And it, it discussed how tattoos in the workplace are now being embraced much more and it's not as much of a um, red flag or um, uh, a concern or an issue for employers, that employers are now accepting it more and more. When I first started this profession, if you had visible tattoos in several of the workplaces and employers that I work for, you had to cover them with sleeves. You had to wear a long sleeve shirt of some sort, or you had to wear a jacket or both. Um, you had to cover your tattoos that were visible. Um, I don't know what the rule was if you had tattoos on your neck or on your hands, to tell you the truth. I only um, know of uh, when at the time there were individuals that had tattoos on their forearms and they had to wear a long sleeve shirt along with their, um, their scrub uniform. Over the years, things have obviously changed, and the perception of individuals who have tattoos has also changed. Uh, the original perception was that tattoos are for people who are up to no good, or who have broken the law, who are not to be trusted. Now, I'm not making this up. You can look this up yourself. You can go to the Google and look it up yourself that the, the stigma of, of tattoos has changed greatly. So can you have tattoos in the workplace as a nurse or a nurse practitioner? You absolutely can. But you also need to recognize that you're being employed by a facility. You need to do find out what those facility policies are. In my particular facility, there is no um, policy of having to uh, cover tattoos or to um, not allow them to be visible as long as they are not offensive um, or derogatory or negative in some way. 
and obviously my tattoos are not. That, that kind of goes without saying. If you're going to work in healthcare, you're going to work with the public. You can't have tattoos that are offensive to the pub public. It's just that simple. It's kind of a no-brainer. But if you want to have tattoos working in healthcare, you need to recognize and understand fully what your facility, your employer's rules are. And everybody's different. Everybody has uh, the right to refuse. They can now. You could go down the, the discrimination road if you wanted to, but I don't know how well that would hold up in court. Quite honestly, I haven't done the research. I could be completely wrong. Uh, but working with the public, you have to not only recognize one your facilities, rules, regulation, and policies. But two, you have to recognize that the public's perception is their reality. You get to change their mind. You get to influence what happens after that initial contact. When they initially see you or they see me with tattoos, they're probably going to have an opinion in the back of their mind. doesn't matter what that opinion is. Everybody has one. You can have as many as you want. It's not... It's out of my control. What's in my control is the opinion you have of myself after we've met, after we talk, after we communicate and interact and have a conversation. Then you can decide if your initial opinion was right, wrong, or if you want to change it, or if you think I, <laughs> if you, maybe you're regretting talking to me in the first place. Um, but you have to recognize that People's perception is their reality. Working in the public, you just have to accept that. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. The way the world works. I don't make the rules, I just try to follow them. I find that the tattoos are not a problem unless you make them a problem. Now, once again, you have to. I keep falling back on you have to do whatever your employer is requesting. But you could fight it tooth and nail as you want. Um, I found over the years that there are some um, patient populations that have specific opinions on tattoos, period, let alone visible tattoos, and it varies greatly. I once again don't, I don't care because my statement in my original video and the blog post that I put on my website, which I'll also include down in the description, is that tattoos, the presence of tattoos don't dictate care. Whether or not I have a tattoo does not influence the care I provide. Just because I have a tattoo doesn't mean I'm gonna provide great care, doesn't mean I'm gonna provide horrible care. And just because you don't have a tattoo doesn't mean you're gonna provide better care or worse care. It's simply an expression, but it's my own personal expression. It has nothing to do with my employer, has nothing to do with my profession. It's like wearing certain jewelry, I guess. It's a very loose description. I think you have to be cognizant that there may be work employer opportunities that are gonna be limited because you have visible tattoos. That's just the way the world works. You can have your opinions and you can be very angry or stubborn about the fact that your tattoos don't affect your care, but you are working in the public with the public. Their perception is their reality. And the facility has the right to have whatever rules or policies that they want to create. I, I don't know. I think that as long as you are maintaining your professionalism, most people aren't even going to realize you have those tattoos. The original question was if I've ever had problems. Now, the, the attire that I wear and the scrubs that I wear, most of the time my arms are covered either with a lab coat or with a jacket that I wear that has absolutely nothing to do with tattoos. It's just the the... the the coat that I choose to wear because it's comfortable and it has the pockets that I want and it's just, 
It's breathable. It works for me. It's my thing. It's what I got. It's what I do. Has absolutely no, no influence on the fact that I have tattoos. So maybe that's why it's a non-issue for me is that most of the time I inadvertently cover my arms anyway. If I didn't cover my arms, I wonder what my world would be like. I would hope it wouldn't change much. Um, I will admit that there are co-workers of mine that only see me on the floors, that when they finally see me in person outside of work and they see that I have these tattoos everywhere, they're, they're actually quite surprised. And then it's a, it's a, it's a funny conversation of, well, you just, so, you know, the, the, the response is, wow, I didn't think you'd have tattoos. And then my rebuttal was always, really, what does a tattoo person, what should they look like? So it's an opportunity to educate and to um, spread the accurate information. And I still stand by my original statement, which is the quote that I heard, read, however many years ago. I can't say where, when, how, who, but it, it stuck with me. And the quote goes, do you know the difference between a tattooed and a non-tattooed person? The tattooed person doesn't care that you don't have tattoos. Daily Sean, I'm out.